Hey guys, been Bossman19 here. Welcome back to DDO. In this video, we are going to be doing the chain known as a man named Bondry Cardman. And today, this chain is a level 3 chain, so we are of level to do this. And this is the chain that gives you your small collectibles bag, which is a key thing to have in your inventory. Can't put on my other stack of bolts here. Why do I need those? I don't even fucking need small candles. I'm not a cleric speller. And, and what that bag does is it collects anything in your inventory that is loose and collective. And so the first part of the chain is in Tamber Smith's warehouse in the Cardamon ship house. Oh no wait, it's a level 2. Um, this this quest is one of two in the chain that have a time limit. So we're gonna actually pull out our hireling for this one. And we're gonna put Meltmaster out. Now we have to talk to Tamper. Hold them off for five minutes. Enough time for saying my traps. Slay at least ten kobolds. So that should mean no biggie. There they come now. There's slingers now. Um, this part can't. This first part can be tricky if you're running on higher difficulties, but on normal, in this case, me, it's not so bad. There's a lot of slingers over here. Warriors start spawning in now. So much cobalt. Okay. So 
we saw the minute and a half of this deal with, and we just got the ransack. Okay. Oh, and now Shaman. Great. Oh, and sneaks. Oh, it's on fire. Shaman. You got 50 seconds to deal with this, so... So... There's more over here. I think I saw a slinger come in, too. Over here. Another shaman. Twenty seconds. Okay, we're just gonna pick up a bunch of collectibles. Oh, there's a shaman over here. Got two seconds, the and now they're. And Tambor has placed his traps. No more kobolds should be able to find their way into the warehouse. You can sell cold kobolds just for fun. Okay. Now I'll just. Oh, wait, there's a chest that spawns, I believe, too. And that's the first part of a man named Bondry Cardamon. Now that's not. I think part two has a time up. Now you go back to Bondry, or now you go up here. Oh, where the fuck is the arrow pointing? Now you go to Bondry again. Now you go back down, back over here to the dock worker. So stop Hazardrill's shipment. You enter into Hazardrill's shipping. Crates line the walls. Time to start smashing. So all this quest is is you smash 50 crates. No, no biggie. Uh, however, you have a nine-minute time limit to smash 50. It shouldn't take too long to smash 50 crates, especially when you're an artificer like me who. Shoots everything. Um, Three exits leave the room. You must hurry before Hazardil knows you are here. Keep smashing his crates. I know. Okay, so the crates can have stuff in them, but we're gonna choose to ignore. That way is barred shut for now. We're just gonna go around. I think. The Then we go the other way. The uh, Night Revels cha uh, challenge, Smashing Pumpkins, nifty reference to their band, is located in this quest. Okay. Yeah, so it shouldn't take all that long to smash 50 crates. If you fail this one, there's like um, a level amount of things wrong with you. That's just my opinion. Okay, and then we go through here. Crate up there. There's no like piece of copper pieces. This way you can this way you can't you can go. We're not gonna go that way yet. Uh, we're gonna go up here. Cause there's more up here, plus the shrines up here for the third and final quest. Now that we are about halfway, okay. 
that's also another way of failing is like wasting a couple seconds of your time in this case I did not now we go through here where we continue breaking crates that we see well ones that are contactable uh, Okay, and there's one up here, one here, one up here. Okay, we're nearly done here. Got 14 left. 10, 9. Uh, the last few are located like. There's one right here, in front of the ladder. Now we jump, go around. Jump, yep, jump here, I guess. Jump here, even though there's a ladder there. Go up. Okay, there's one, one. There's a couple here. There is one. There's a couple, there's a lot in this room. Uh, this room, pretty much finished the quest. As the last break splinters the bits, you know that you have successfully stopped Hazardale's illicit trade. You can continue smashing if you want, but yeah, don't take that out of context, viewers, please. Um, okay, so we're gonna go up. Down and around. I say this because if you go in this room, Uh, you can go all around the rest of the quest. You can actually go in here. Find more crates. There is a tr a chest up here. However, it is a trapped chest. So, lucky for us, we are an artificer. So, we can indeed disable it. So we're going to search for it, and then I think our lever to open that door is over here. Climb up with our shaky little rune arm, which is still the starter rune arm that I got the beginning of the playthrough in episode 4, I think. And then we open, here's a hidden door here, open it up. There should be a lever as well as a chest up here. Okay, there's a lever. Pick that and it opens the door over here. But you can run along these walls. Did not know you can do this. And I fell. So in this case, if you ever like fail a quest or you die, you just remember where you are. Um, let me climb up. So here's our trap, and then we disarm it. And then we open the chest. It's a one off trap, so like the open you chest, it opens the chest, the trap goes off. I disarmed the trap before opening it, so you did not see it go off. It's a bunch of like knives that come out, or knives, uh, blades that come out of the ground. Okay, and then we go back down to Bodri. What am I missing? Oh, there's something in the Bogwitter Tavern that I'm in the Wayward in the Wayward Lobster that I'm missing. Okay, and then you go talk to Harmon Taft again, not that guy. And then you go back in for retrieve the stolen goods. You make your way back into Hazardale's warehouse. Stealth might be an asset here. And you might notice now... There is Kobolds! Which... Fuck. 
get him dead. Now we go in here. A wary kobold guards this room. We may be forced to fight. Like, no matter which way you go, we're just gonna speed run this. You can go get that chest again if you want. That. A couple kobolds right here. Every room should have a couple kobolds in it now. Get that shaman over here. I think that's a slinger up there, yeah. Or kobold thrower, as they're called. I just don't know if it remains completely still. Okay, I think I saw a kobold go up this way. There's a couple up here. Okay, and then you can go in here. For our rest. If that's not needed right now, we are not going to do that. Yeah, and you can hear in the background it closes. And then you go here, open this up, there should be some kobolds in here. There's one, of, there's actually two at the bottom, no, there's just one at the bottom of the stand. There's just one at the bottom of the step. You go over here, should be a couple moving it around. And a bugbear. Yeah, Let me open up this chest. Now that's a nice drop to get there, the Ring of Rage. Um, it, it's, uh, the Ring of Rage can be very handy if you're a, uh, fighter and you want to use Rage. If lag would stop happening. Now we go up. I think we're supposed to go that way now. I know that's the way we came. Um, go up this way. There should be kobolds around here. Put some over here. And some sneaky. Oh, and a kobold rope. And then we go into this room here, I think should be a uh, another kobold, plus a... There's a couple kobolds. And I think another bugbear is in here too. No, no kobold in here. Or no bugbear in here, excuse me. Uh, we go back this way. We're gonna take the west path going up. Let me shoot that. Got a couple kobolds. These guys somehow didn't see me. I'm gonna kill them anyways. Kill them. There's kobolds all around this room. And I think another bugbear. Harnos. How did you get up here? And another kobold. Okay. That was a longbow, we don't use those. Let me go in here. Where we're greeted by a crap ton of kobolds. I don't think Kree is... But oh, hi. There's another shaman somewhere. There he is. There's a one more. Oh, we're good. Okay, we climb up the ladder. Don't know why our, we've got our trap indicator. I think there's a trap here. Just a dart, dart thing. Stolen crate. You have recovered the stolen goods for Cartamon. Return them to him right away. And that's the Cardam Boju Cardamon chain. But first, we're gonna go get that chest again and open it for some goodies but first we're gonna fall back down all the way to the bottom of the door 
or of the room, excuse me. Go back, uh, oh, damn ladder glitch. That's an annoying glitch that can occur with ladders from time to time. And the same trap from before. Okay, open up the chest. So, some, fifth, some thieves tools. And that's the boat, and that's the chain named a man named Bondry Cardamon. Any tips you need that are new to DDL? I will be happy to give you those. This and this will do it for part what part 14. But first, we're gonna go collect our reward here. All right, I am glad to be of service. Okay, so we got a biting repeating crossbow, collar of keen edges. Heavy repeat. So we're gonna get rid of the one that doesn't produce elemental damage, actually. Cause I'm not gonna use that one. Let me get rid of it. We're gonna lock the anarchic. Okay, show me your general wares. Don't need to sell or don't need to repair. Don't. Not gonna sell that. What we are gonna sell are these. Okay, that puts us at 56, 8, 28 platinum. And that does it for today's ep uh, today's episode. That does it for this video. Next video we do another quest. And as always, I hope you enjoy. More to come. Peace.